Lucas, what's it been like kind of learning uh, just the, the catch up the speed with the, the valley and kind of getting used to it and then kind of really holding your own now this year and like getting a lot of, you know, we brought guys in here every week and they're talking about, well, defense, you got to talk about Lucas, right? Like, so what's it been like to kind of get to the spot now where you're, you're, you're able to contribute? And I know this year isn't going, obviously, the way you got want to, having not won a game, but just where you're at with that um, and how um, just you're able at least to kind of show the guys this is kind of, we get 12, 11 Lucases out here, you know, who knows, right? Man, I don't, I don't know if I'd cover as well as some of those guys and stuff, but, you know, I'll do my best. But, um, no, I really try to try to leave guys out there, um, show them, like, you know, never quit and stuff. And um, I think that that's something I really have tried to, like, leave on the field this year, especially just fighting the whole game. You know, if they haven't gone the way we want them to, but staying in the game, I think, was, you know, keeping guys going, 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 never quit. And I think that was something I really tried to push this year. Did you ever doubt that you could that you couldn't iron out a starting spot with the Sycamores? Like, was that ever a doubt for you? Um, no, you know we've always have had a lot of great leaders here um, in my past. You know, with Anoke, uh, Michael Gant, you know Gavin Deneen, and I think those guys really showed me, you know, when the time's there that you know it'll come. Because you know Michael Gant didn't play till his I think fifth year, and you know, so, you know, fall, seeing a guy like that, you know, to get his spot and. I think it really helped me, like, know, like, you know, my day will come, and I think, you know, I'll be able to have success like he did. So, you just talked to Michael a couple weeks ago, or like a couple months ago. You used to talk to him lately, or? Yeah, you know, when I see him around here and stuff a lot, you know, I always talk to him and say what's up, and it's yeah. always good to catch up with him, and see how he's doing at Terre Haute. So, that's cool. Lucas, the defense has done a good job of bailing itself out. Whether it's if you don't get pressure, the secondary is going to bail you out, vice versa. How have you seen the defense continue to make plays and, and, and grow and develop? Especially, you know, last week against one of the top offenses in the country, that's got to be confidence going into Western this week. Yeah, you know, we have we have a great defense, you know, not just up front, but up in the back seven, you know, guys like John Ed and, you know, like Peyton stepped up really well last week. It was great to see him uh, back in the starting lineup and, you know, excel very well. Um, you know, our linebackers like Garrett, Jeff, and Blake, you know, they do a great job. And Maddox and who in the back, you know, they're always, you know, getting what, 10 tackles a game. So it's great to see, you know, all around the field, we have guys making plays and doing their job. So it's been a great, it's been a great and fun year to see a defense, you know, really putting things together. Be a nice cherry on top to, to get a win early on senior day this weekend and go out in a big way at home, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're, it's all, all we've been, you know, trying to do all year is get a win. And, you know, this is another great opportunity for us to do it. So we're really excited and ready for the opportunity. Lucas, um, you just mentioned Michael, and it just popped in my head. Any, any seniors out here, or guys using up their last year, their eligibility that can potentially have some coaching chops down the line, you think? Anyone that comes to mind for you? Um, you know, Jack Sherman, he's another Terre Haute, Terre Haute local guy. I could see him, you know, you know he's, got, he's got family coaching all around and stuff with the Barretts and stuff, so I could definitely see him getting a, getting a job, you know, at one of the Terre Hautes or somewhere around here. So he's got a great, you know, leadership and energy he brings is great, so I could see him. And being a coach, some or something like that around here these days. Nice. And then Dakota, I want to ask about him. Like, ha have you seen him? Not necessarily. I mean, he's you know obviously he's returning punts. He's juking guys out, getting in the end zone, get pet, having big pickups this year. You know, like I said earlier, he's, he's three touchdowns this year. That's a career high for him. I know the field on field stuff's been there, right? But what can you tell me about just his demeanor when he walks in the room, when he walks in the locker room, when he hits the weights? Like, what can you say about just kind of him? And his art and just like his development over the, the last couple of years. Um, yeah, we all have great respect for Dakota. You know, he's been here as long as anyone else. And so, you know, seeing him like as past, you know, six years, like, you know, always, always early, always being a leader, you know, you know it really just shows that like where he comes from and stuff is he's, he's done a great job. And I really respect him and as well as everyone else does. Looking at this weekend, I mean, Western Illinois over the last couple of years has tried to establish a running game. We shut them down. Uh, what's kind of the mentality going on in the defense? What are some of the keys that you guys are looking at for this particular game on Saturday? Um, you know, every game, our first mentality is to stop the run, stop the run, stop the run. So just like any other week, you know, that's our first first plan, you know, building a flat wall up front and then having our linebackers and safeties fill. So, you know, that's our focus every week is main focus, stop the run. So no different than any other week. Thanks, Lucas. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Great job.